so welcome back again into my channel i'm gonna share with you the code to retrieve the scf gallery image into nest table slider uh, let's start shall we uh, this is the example um this is made at the, the image and you see the text here is retrieved from the scf gallery image um the image, the caption, the title, all the data from our media we can retrieve it so the first thing is um, of course you have to add your custom field gallery and the setting is the uh, same, Not there is no special thing you can uh, you, 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 you should use image array and then let's see i already have i already add the, some dummy data into one of my custom post types so this is the scf gallery and as you can see here we have the image we have the title we have the caption uh, i'm here for this image and to retrieve the data and store it into this table slider um, the first, uh, I will share the link, so you only have to do is just copy paste the code. Um, which one? Oh, oh this one. Okay. Um, just copy all this, and this is the um, data from the media. Um, you can play around and add um, with your uh, need. And yep, so this all this code go to your function file or snippet plugin. So uh, let me show you. This is my snippet plugin. I already copied that here, and then uh, yeah, you can just rename this to so like. Second of okay, okay. Uh, the second code is the JavaScript code. Which one over here? Um, I will add letter. So the first thing is let's go to um, this is my template for custom post type portfolio and let's add some section and add the table slider. Okay and let's delete the second and the third slide uh, let's delete the button let's delete the heading uh, let's add some basic text and image of course or oh yeah just image each other oh okay oh, but i think i will add the image as a background image so Okay. All right. Let's start uh, by going back when we were go back to snippet. So what you need to do is just copy this code, um, the function name, get custom loop object property. You can rename it whatever you want, but make sure to have the match. I think uh, no, no, you can like change this. Um, get SEF gallery data something like this and let's save it and let's go back uh, if you can see here this um, function has two parameter the first is the name the second is an image size so for the name uh, you can uh, use this the ID of if you wanna get the image ID, the name, uh, I should change it to title actually. The title of image, the caption of image, and mm, no, this is wrong. <laughs> you can just delete this. We only need three uh, of this. Actually, we only need one if you can play around with this. Um, what is this? 
uh, the code the code uh, inside this function but let's leave it for now so uh, let's copy this and let's go back to our template let's add a background image um, oh sorry sorry the first step is um, go to slide and enable the query loop and choose the type of uh, this is the name of your uh, custom loop type so the name should be this since I have not refreshed it so let's say and uh, let's wait and uh, let's refresh and see the slider uh, now it's changed right so let's enable this and what you have to what you need to do is just like go to the background and then put the dynamic data with our function echo and the first parameter um, image and comma and then the size so let's say i'm gonna put the full size or large or full <laughs> let's put full first okay and let's see um equal oh yeah i forget to close the bracket here okay and nothing happened of course okay let's let's see this template at this pose <laughs> Nothing happened, bro. What the fuck is this? Okay. Um. Let's go back to our snippet here. Get field portfolio gallery. So this is our custom field name. Here, I think. Portfolio gallery. And then. Mm, name. Oh yeah, here. I should. I should not. Oh. I should have not here. I I should not delay that. Sorry, sorry. I do apologize. So this is actually the same, you know. But I'm not sure. I have not. <laughs> this is the generated by ChatGPT AI. So um, why I use why I leave this is like like this because you see it will check the name. So uh, when I, when the first parameter is image, it it will uh, accept the second parameter which is the size, something like that. The ID, object name, image ID. image ID um, gallery image ID yep I think it I, I will assume I assume that if we um, let's uncomment uh, let's comment this I think it will work because right now I don't use the ID I don't have a need for an ID okay now it's the image is now work and the height is not really good let's uns uh, let's say 50 pixel uh, yep yep it's quite nice let's add the second slider and um, the second slider will act as the thumbnail and um, so the requirement for the um, thumbnail carousel is we have the 
uh, is navigation true you see we need to make slight clickable by, by setting its navigation true but because the bricks doesn't have the default uh, next table slider doesn't have the option what we can do is use the custom um, custom option type and go to uh, pass the option in JSON format so let's copy this and put it here let's add um, let's you let's add uh, the focus center option because I wanna the the highlight of the thumbnail is always on the center focus center and it is navigation option to true and let's add um uh, per page so i want to have like three or four thumbnail uh, per page like three let's, let's say let's let's use three for now and you can of course you can disable the arrow and uh, disable the uh, apa namanya the pagination here let's oops oh yeah i forget to wait um oh yeah for slider i think i will put the image not on the background but on the image element uh, of here let's use dynamic data and change the size to the thumbnail mm -hmm, yep that's good let's change the width to auto probably good enough yeah Um. Okay. The next one is we just synchronize the two bot slider. So let you can add the JavaScript uh, on the code element, on the snippet plugin, on your uh, team child. Uh, for this example, I will use the custom code. Just the, let's pass here and change this into our main slider script ID and this one into our uh, thumbnail script ID. So let's take a look at the front end and see the script ID. So this is for the the main slider and. This is for the thumbnail slider. Okay, let's save it and let's see. All oh, right, nice. Okay. Yep. I think that's good enough. Should I make it center like? How do I make a center flex flex column uh, middle? Oh yeah. Yep, that's good. Let's us let's close this. Let's add some image. Okay, let this add this one, this guy. Let's so our new image caption, our new image caption. 
oh yeah i forget to to tell you how to add another data like caption and title so let's go back again to our template and it's easy it's quite easy um, let's do this okay let's say um, I'm gonna add the title and the caption go back to our snippet you see there is the title and caption so what you only what you need to do is just change this parameter to a uh, title and the second one to caption let's save it and load and now you have the text here below okay here hero image our oh. oh yeah wrong here update it. update and let's see again our new image our new image caption right now you already know how to do that and I will share the link um as soon as possible maybe tomorrow since uh, there is some problem with my website so uh please wait uh, and if you have any question as always you can put it on the comment box down below so thank you for watching and happy coding see you bye bye